Hello students, how are you all? We hope you are all good and keeping yourself safe at home. I am Vincent and I am Sanvidi. I welcome you all to the one more edition of STEM Club activity. We are going to take you through a fascinating journey on numbers. Let's, Let's begin. begin. What we are going to learn today is going to blow your mind. Let's begin with a simple game. We know the whole number series, right? It starts with zero. The next number is one. What is zero plus one? It is one. So we have three numbers in the series now, which is zero, one, and one. Here is the rule of the game. The new number what you're going to get, that must be added to the previous number. So what is one plus one now is it is two. What is two plus one? It is three. What is three plus two? It is five. What is five plus three? It is eight. The sequence goes on as one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five, so on and so forth. This sequence is called as the famous Fibonacci sequence because it was discovered by one of the famous mathematician from Italy who lived in 12th century who is called as Leonardo Fibonacci. You might be wondering why this sequence is important. Fibonacci noticed that this sequence is happening all around him in the nature. This is the sequence in which the flowers put out their petals or the plants put out their leaves or this is the sequence or the way in which the rabbits multiply, sunflower put out their seeds, etc. This isn't the part which blows your mind. It is yet to come. Let's keep playing with the Fibonacci sequence. This time we shall change the rule of the game. So instead of adding the consecutive numbers, we shall divide the next number from the previous number. So what we are going to get 1 by 1 is equal to 1, 2 by 1 is equal to 2. Next we have 3, so 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5. Next we have 5, so 5 by 3 is equal to 1.666. Next we have 8, so 8 by 5 is equal to 1.6. As we go through the Fibonacci sequence doing these divisions, we'll come across a weird ratio which would be equal to 1.618. So we'll come back to it later. For the next part, we need a graph paper. On the graph paper, first thing we are going to do is draw an unit square. So here I have a perfect square which is number 1 that is the first number in the Fibonacci sequence and the next number in my Fibonacci sequence was 1 as well. We shall now draw that also. So we have got 1 and 1. Guys, remember what the next number was. We got it by adding them together. The next number is 2. You can draw a square by using the long side of the rectangle. You will notice that we have made one more rectangle. What I am going to do now is Make one more square using the long side of the rectangle whose side is 3 cm which is the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. I can just continue this process by taking the long side of the rectangle to get a new square and thereby we will get a bigger rectangle every time. So what we got is a series of boxes which goes on forever and here is really kind of a cool thing. Now I am going to draw something. Yes, this spiral is called Fibonacci spiral. Think back to what we did when we were dividing the Fibonacci sequence. We were coming up with that weird ratio 1.618, right? That describes the ratio of the numbers together, the number to the previous number. If you look here at this number 2, it is 1.618 times larger than the once put together. The ratio is forming this spiral. You see this spiral not only in seashells. This is the way the galaxies organize themselves. The way the hurricanes form all follow this pattern. So they organize themselves around this mathematical principle. So this ratio 
will pop up in so many places and so many different areas, rightly called as golden ratio. Mathematicians have given the name phi. Phi is equal to 1.618. People use phi to make their artwork look beautiful. It is believed that Leonardo obviously used it in his famous painting Mona Lisa. The ancient Greeks were aware of it. They built their buildings using this ratio. Japanese too used it in their paintings. We can see it not only in the way the galaxies formed but hurricanes formed this way too. Even the continent seems to arrange themselves in a way that follow this blueprint. So phi is equal to 1.618, the golden ratio is said to be the secret of visual splendor. It is there everywhere around us. It is there in architecture, it is there in arts, it is there in photography, it's there in music, it's everywhere. So phi is equal to beauty. Over to you Sanmi. Hello friends, now we are in our school garden. Now let's try to find some Fibonacci sequence in the natural things around us. Consider this tree. This tree has one main branch which branches out into two, then into three and then into five branches. Then it is in line to a Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence is the way petals of flowers arrange themselves. This is a hibiscus flower and it has five petals, one, two, three, four and five, which is a number in Fibonacci sequence. We can find Fibonacci sequence in the arrangement of leaves of this plant. First one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four and five. In this way, the Fibonacci sequence goes on. We can even see Fibonacci sequence in the arrangement of petals in a rose. The first layer contains five petals, one, two, three, four and five. And the next layer contains eight petals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. In this way, the petals of flowers also follow Fibonacci sequence. Through this visual experience, we can conclude that Fibonacci sequence is the way in which nature arranges its things to make it look more beautiful and attractive. We learned about golden ratio earlier. It is everywhere in the nature, in designing of automobiles, in architecture, in musical instruments, in arrangement of organs in our body, in handwriting and so on. And this is the tool used to measure this golden ratio. This is known as golden mean gauge or caliper. Here we can see three pointers. The distance between this is one unit, then the distance between this will be 1.618 unit. How to make this device? The link is given in the description box below. Now let's verify the golden ratio in some of the beautiful monuments. Firstly, let's see the Eiffel Tower in Paris. We can find the golden ratio. This is equal to 1 unit whereas this is equal to 1.618. In the same way, we can find this even between them. Then, let's see the beautiful monument Taj Mahal. This is equal to 1 unit and this is equal to 1.618 unit. Then the next one is Kutub Minar. Here also we can see the golden ratio between each stairs of the Kutub Minar. This is equal to 1 unit and this is equal to 1.618 unit. In the same way we can see this. This is equal to 1 unit and this is equal to 1.618. In this way we can see this golden ratio with the full tower. This is 1 unit and this is 1.618 units. Now let's see another historical monument. That is the Baghdad city gate. Here also we can see the golden ratio between the entrance of the gate and the pillars of the gate. This is equal to 1 unit and this is equal to 1.618 unit. The golden ratio is used for designing this car too. We can see this. From the middle of the car to the edges of the car. We can even see the golden ratio here from the center of the car to the headlamps. We can find the golden ratio in the symbol of Ford. Here the golden ratio is used to find is used to find the place where the first letter of the Ford F should be started from. We can see the golden ratio in the symbol of BMW also. 
Here the golden ratio is used from the radius of the smaller circle to the radius of the bigger circle. We can even see the golden ratio in the symbol of Benz. Here it is. In this way, the golden ratio is used for designing the automobiles and even the logos of automobiles. Here we can see the symbol of star. The symbol of star is the intersection of diagonals of a pentagon. This looks so beautiful and this is also arranged in golden ratio and that is the reason behind its beauty. We can even see the golden ratio in the designs of tabs. Here we can. We all know that the music is divine and this golden ratio is even used to design these musical instruments. We all know that the peacock feather is very beautiful and the reason behind its beauty is this is also in the golden ratio. Here we can see the seed heads of sunflower are also arranged in the golden ratio. Here we can see. Here we are seeing the beautiful painting of Mona Lisa. This is world famous because of its beauty and we can find the golden ratio even in this beautiful painting. Here are the images of some beautiful iconic figures. And these organs also are arranged in a golden ratio. Here we can see. And we can find the golden ratio even in this manner. And we can find the golden ratio in even this eyes. In this way, we can conclude that golden ratio is equal to beauty and beauty is equal to golden ratio. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned some fascinating facts on numbers. Stay home, stay safe and stay happy. Thank, Thank you. you.